Be still and know. Okay, um, yes, be still and know. If somebody is seeking to understand and feels like, oh, it's it's a trick about that, you know, be still and know. What's it? It's some kind of a trick there, you know, be still and know. Well, I would say the trick is like, if there's a trick, it's knowing that you know. <laughs> it's like, if you don't know you're receiving, you can still receive. You can receive your breath, you can receive the sound, you can receive the movement. You can receive and receive and receive and receive. But if you're not aware that you're receiving, well, you know, you still go on receiving. So when you're still, it's like now, 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 now. Knowing each moment as it comes by with its message. <laughs> Not in words, I wouldn't say. Maybe in picture, sound, music? Okay. So, oh, Saturday, 18th of May. Oh. Merciful and true One's love 
Giving all of its children Loving angel wings We come here Loving just about everyone everything And all of those angels Let me love loving Me and you too So we are seeds of Upon the earth to come into all of our thoughts of enemies fall beneath the love, 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 love it. Giving each of us our worlds and time We get to witness Witness and feel And all the love And all of our world Comes on through Seeds of one love Like me and you
drops of loving rain. Okay. To give by the rap. Oh yeah, the rap, the rap, the rap. Look, I can't help but be fascinated by this letter of this um, guy called Pike, if, who wrote this, has this letter he wrote in 1871, which, um, which according to the references, is in, in the British Museum until 1979. And then it's not there. It was on view there until 1979. Now it's not on view. And it is such a fascinating letter. It describes Pike, this guy Pike, which I feel at the time must have accumulated a lot of power. Like when we talk about there's different kinds of power, but they say now that whoever has the narrative has the power. You know what I mean? The narrative is the power. And because at that particular point in time, of, in the time of uh, the 1871, as I imagine it, you know, the power of education, writing, reading, the arts, all of this uh, pantomime of, of, of life that would be going on in Britain at the time, or wherever he was, um, Europe, I guess. It's like the West. And they had a lot of power and were coming into their power and more and more. And um, so... This guy, I mean, it's like, what side is, is he on? It would seem to me he's on the side of um, what he would, what people like to the people with knowledge, you know, okay. And I'm not talking about, I'm talking about this, the knowledge of being still and knowing. And so he's there and he knows and on he goes, but he's, he's, um, I'm sorry, he was there in, in 1871 when he wrote this letter. But in his mind, his projection, he wasn't, as I said, he wasn't like telling the future. He was creating the future because he had been given, he had accumulated so much power. He had accumulated so much power from all of the these, he had a word for it if you read the letter, agents of Spike, <laughs> um, of Pike of the pike, <laughs> agent of the pike, um, all over the world, you know, as far as this letter was concerned. And he was sending them out too, to, to create this future. So you go out all over the world, like it was a bit like the story of Jesuits or something, and we're going to create this future. Now, it does seem the purpose of the future seems to be ungodly. And yet, it's sort of like a well-wishy sort of sense of we'll take over the whole world and we'll make it a better place for us. And who's going to be us and who's going to be them is questionable. You see? And so... Um, well, that's, I mean, you could say, oh, this is all baloney, the, guys, the guy was, you know, nutty and whatever, but no, we can't do that now. Because if this is authentic and this leather is authentic, you just can't wish you wash it away, sweep it under the rugs. You've got the power of this man's mind, Pike, with the knowers of his time. And how many knowers of his time were there? How many people were there in 1871 sitting still for hours, meditating? Probably not many. Oh, in India, but even in India. Such, you know, I mean, yes, probably that would be the big place of it. And so. Oh, there's so many, you know, India... India to me is like, if, you know, when I think in terms of religion, I see it's like, it's like a collage of egos. <laughs> Each ego is a god. 
the ego of the lion, the ego of the giraffe, the ego of the mouse, the ego of, you know. It's like each ego is the guy you could, they, they could refer to as a god, but then it's like, are they demeaning? I mean, most people, when they think of the word god, they don't think of the ego of a, a rat or even of a child, maybe a child, you know, but um, which whose ego is still soul bound <laughs> rather than earthly bound. Time zone bound. Soul is like infinite time. I feel. Anyway, so Memorias the song. Okay. Yes, is a. Uh, I haven't been invited recently to perform anywhere, so what can I say? I, I, I need to, if I'm going to perform my songs, I like them to be at their best, at least in the moment, <laughs> and um, bearing with the moment, mm -hmm. uh, bearing with the audience, <laughs> yeah, can't always be easy, but it helps. One gets it down, I guess, till you've reached some kind of balance with what you're singing about and playing about. And so here goes, Memorias. Last 
time is a lifetime. Lifetime is a lifetime goal. Lifetime is a lifetime goal. second song and then we got well it's the second of five songs and this this uh, tape uh, this particular uh, it's about it <laughs> for the moment it's May the 18th and um, well to reiterate say again you know this guy if you think of what he penned what well, Pike penned in 1871. To literally manufacture a communist Russia in order to, what was it, to counteract um, a Nazi Germany. I mean, the word Nazi and Zionist barely existed in those days. Barely existed. I mean, it's like there was just... Like, but you could see the power in just those words. Zionists, Nazis, you know, communists, you could say, but socialists. But communist, socialists, they, they were kind of like there. I mean, that was like the general, we got it, you know, sort of the, the mood going around on, in, in certain sections, in the cities and everything else. However, um, who controls that mood? And, and and you have this guy Pike, who's seen in his stillness, considering words like if this is true, like Nazi and Zionist, 1871, and he's considering what he's going to do with these new words. It's like in mathematics you have like you know they they have um, numbers and you have you've like pi for example you know oh I've discovered pi now what can I do with pi Pie. It's a powerful something. I know it's got some relevance, powerful relevance, you see. So I can imagine this guy Pike, his pie would be Zionist, the word. And Nazi, the word. Two of them came up at the same time. One wanted a, a nationalist, Aryan, fair-haired, blue-eyed race, and the other wanted a, for the Aryan, for the blue-eyed race that... Maybe what they did they bubble up from Atlantis or somewhere with, 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 with iron swords to bully everybody? Or um what was the other one? That, <laughs> you see what I mean? This letter deserves everybody's attention. It should be read out in the UN and ask everybody, you know, what is this? What does this mean? Because at the moment, oddly enough, the le according to the letter, the th this, he's describing the Third World War that he's creating. And in the Third World War that he's creating, without God, you remember, so he's like, he's given up on God, so he's like, he's going to take over, the, you know, it's like a take over the world in the name of us that can can do it you know that can take over the world 
uh, rather than, you know, in God we trust, everything's going to work out and nobody's going to get hurt, or, you know what I mean, in most situations. So, I think people, they don't care anymore, you see. That don't, that don't fill into the Pike's imagination, you know. So, I mean, we're more than human, you know. We're superhuman and blah, 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 blah. blah you know? Well, they seem to have given him some superhuman status because at the moment, according to the Pike's Third War, the third, uh, remember this, he's writing this in 1871, and according to his description of the Third World, and the second one was, you know, we will, um, well, after the First World War, the Second World War, he's empowering Russia to keep the Nazis down, he says, and now he's, in, he's, He's he's going for a he wants to create a war between the Islamists the, the Muslims and the, the Zionists. So he wants the Muslims and the Zionists. When he says Zionists, he might mean Jews. Like for the likes of Pike, Jews and scientists are Jews, and Jews and Zionists are like. Um, Zionists are like the elite Jews. You see what I mean? I feel in Pike's mind, Zionists would be like, oh, we're the elite Jews. We're the ones who know what we're talking about. Like, you know, we sit still <laughs> and know. And so this is why I keep bringing it up. I think it's important because it, you can see the, the amount of... I, I remember this, you know, the... the this guy in in, in, in uh, the, the president of the the, the the power leader of of Israel, um, maybe ten years ago, coming on television and saying we he was bow, bellowing, bellowing as it were, like a bullying bellow. We're going to take on Iran. Iran is the enemy. You know what I mean? And I was like, huh? He he's actually saying. Let's go to war with Iran. Let's go to war with Iran. You know what I mean? And this is right up, you know, this is right on the letter of Pike. So you got one world war, second world war, we're talking about a third world war, and uh, what's Pike got to do with it? Is he still? You see, who's in control? People sort of say, who is this doctor? Well, who is Pike? Aha! Uh -huh. That's why I think this letter is so important. And, um, the information that I got came with a little little talk by Kennedy, <laughs> and Kennedy was warning us about secret societies. Say no more. And I feel if this the the only way to defeat if you want to defeat secret society, the answer to this spiky spiky if you call it secret society is to receive it with love. Receive the whole caboodle with love. with the love of God, for the love of God. <laughs> and then people say, well, there's no God. Well, okay. For the love of loving, for the love of enjoying a life of loving. To dance, we got to dance. To love, we got to love now. Love. Hmm. Love is, I've heard the word, the People write love is, love is, love is, love is. I've talked about this before. but Love is between you and you. It's like, how do you love yourself? How are you loving yourself? And today, it's just like they say in God we trust. Well, in whatever I'm trusting today, in in my mind, it came in the form of a, um, like a feminine Buddhist. And she was reminding me, because she knows I know, she's just reminding me, be still and know. <laughs> 